So today I'm going to be doing the second episode of my series where I show you guys all of the brand new vehicles which came to GTA Online with the Gun Running DLC. If you missed my first episode where I showed you guys the Picasso Oppressor, then I'll link that down below in the description and you guys can go check that one out. But today we're doing the APC and this thing is just freaking amazing. I can't get over how good it is. I think it might be as good as the Picasso Oppressor, maybe even better. It is far more better than the Rhino tank, that's all I'm going to say, but there are two parts to this vehicle. So there's obviously the default part and then the upgraded part. So we're going to be going over the default vehicle first and then we're going to be doing the upgraded vehicle version. So for the default vehicle, all you're going to get is the tank on its own and then of course you're going to get the normal shooting, the grenade shooting sort of thing on top of the tank, which shoots sort of explosive things. I don't know, it shoots like grenades which will instantly explode when they make contact with something. But the problem with this is that it's not so strong it doesn't do much damage and it can't shoot that far and it's of course very slow to turn left and right and you can't really do fast 360s with the um, sort of grenade launching thing. You can't like turn from left to right very fast as you can with the SAM Tyrant which is the upgraded version. So with the default one again you do get two turrets on the back so as I didn't, I'd never mentioned this car is actually a four seater vehicle. So you can fit four people in it and then the first person is going to be able to drive whilst the second person is going to be able to control the big turret, the SAM turret or the grenade launching thing. And then the third and fourth person are able to go on the left or right side of the vehicle and they can control the turrets. Now these turrets are not very strong as you can see. They are pretty much even weaker than the insurgent pickup turret that you get on top of the vehicle. But these turrets are just not powerful at all. I mean it takes like 10 shots or maybe 8 shots to kill a person with the tyrant and to destroy a vehicle it would literally take like I don't know maybe 20 seconds worth of shooting the vehicle in order to destroy it so the tyrants are very weak they're pretty much pointless and the other problem is is that they can't really turn from left to right so like they can't do 180 degree full turns from left to right so it can maybe only do a 90 degree turn I don't really know if that makes sense to you guys but as you can see it can't really turn to the full left and to the full right um, which makes it not, not that great. But when you upgrade this vehicle, it is a little bit better. You do get the SAM turret, which is probably the best thing about this vehicle when it is upgraded. It is probably what makes this vehicle so amazing and way better than the Rhino tank. So this vehicle, as I never mentioned, it does take four to five explosive shots for it to explode. So if someone's going to throw one sticky bomb at this vehicle and blow that sticky bomb up, it's not going to destroy the vehicle. They're going to have to use four or five sticky bombs to blow up this vehicle. And that is, by the way, with the default and upgraded version of the vehicle. But as let's get back onto track. With the upgraded version of this vehicle, you get the SAM tone which is this thing on the top and it is freaking OP. It has 60 missiles which you can shoot and the things are just OP because it can shoot so fast and the missiles are really powerful so you can take down anything. You can take down big groups of cars, you can take down like I don't know a whole bunch of people standing together whatever if that makes sense. I mean it's just freaking amazing and the fire rate is so fast. You can turn in 360s really fast. It's not like really as slow as the grenade launching shooting thing. I don't know how to describe it, but yeah, that thing. But it's way more better. And then that's pretty much all you get with the vehicle when you do research on the vehicle and you upgrade the vehicle. Um, the default and the upgraded vehicle is able to drive into the water, which is really cool. And then, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about the vehicle. I mean, it's way more better than the Rhino tank. And it can drive pretty fast, of course, and it can carry four people, which makes it better than the Rhino tank. And I'm not too sure if you, if there's only one person driving this vehicle, I'm not too sure if they're able to control the SAM turret. I wouldn't imagine that they are able to. It would make sense. Let me know down below if you guys do know. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this vehicle. I would definitely suggest buying it. So now let's get into the price ranging of the vehicle. So if you're a noob to this game, you've got a modded account or something like that and you just want to get your hands onto this vehicle straight away, then you're going to be paying $3,092,250. But if you do go on to do the mission which gives you a discount on the vehicle, which you can only, by the way, do by getting a mobile operation center, then you're going to be paying $2,325,000. So if you guys are on a budget, I'll definitely suggest going ahead and doing that mission as it will save you quite a lot of money. I mean, you can buy a super sport car with that money, which is kind of cool. I don't know. You might want to save like $700,000. Why not? But yeah, that's pretty much the prices for the vehicle. I'll definitely 
suggest getting this vehicle. It is so OP. It is way better than the Rhino tank. Um, in any case, it's faster. It can go in the water. It's got a Sam turret, which does have limited ammo, which is kind of a downside to the vehicle. But anybody could agree that this vehicle is way more better than the Rhino tank. It's pretty much an upgraded, better version of it. But that's going to be the end of the video. I hope you guys all found it helpful. If you did, then tell your friends about this Rhino tank and this video and maybe share all the facts that I told you about it. But before I end this video, I just want to give a big shout out to my friends Watson and Husky. They were a big help towards the video. So I'll link their channels down below in the description so you guys can go check them out. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, once again, share it with your friends. But I'll see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and cheers. Oh, just let me out. Oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me out. Oh. oh, just let me out. Oh. That clock keeps ticking like a metronome, and my thoughts keep telling me to get me home, but my balls keep telling me to let me out.